For six years and still counting, the National Gallery of Art has been engaged in coaching art young. From the primary, secondary to tertiary institutions, there has been an intense search for the next big thing waiting to be discovered among their peers and trying to encourage them. It's important because we use it to sell ideas to the, to, to the public, to conscientize the public about what we are facing as a nation and how we can remedy it. This alone will go a long way to encourage people, to encourage young talents to put in their best and to bring out things that, will, that will people will marvel at. They have also explored themes that may seem far beyond their years, as most of the topics over time have always focused on national development, probably to raise their consciousness and see their interpretation of what's happening in the country. The first thing came to my mind when I was doing this work because when we joined Opus together, that means it's united. And when the two hands joined together, which means they are living in peace. The two beds represent peace, and the two hands represent Christian and Muslim. Coming together is a, road, is a road map to national development, to develop our country, Muslims and Christians. Envisioning a new Nigeria through visual art, Rebranding Nigeria through visual art, electoral reform as ethics for good governance, national security and tolerance, a roadmap to development, and visual art as tool for human capacity development are some of the themes different groups have done in the last five years. And this year, it's all about national security and stable power supply, a roadmap to national development, which the organizers believe is apt. When we talk of security today, we, we see what is happening in the uh, Northeast, the Boko Haram uh, issue. You see that it has been carried out by youth, and we are using this medium to address the youth that uh, we, need, we need to be, uh, be peaceful for development to take, take place. So it is very important because we are selling the message through visual art. And of course, it's very important. We need power for us to develop as a country. We are using this uh, to tell the youth who are vandalizing our gas supply to power station that there is no need for it. Because if we we, we don't allow, if we don't allow that to happen, uh, we will find it difficult to move as a country. So we we, we use this bit of visual art to address some of these challenges we face as a country. These children know what we are facing as a nation because you can see this beautiful work addressing this theme of stable power and security for us to have development. So you can see that even the children are aware of it. And I believe that they put it their best to see that they can address uh, the, the theme. Uh, this is, is being seen in the works uh, displayed here. After a hectic selection process by a panel comprising critics and art teachers, these are the works that made the cut. Drawings, paintings, and sculptural pieces. In fact, that has been the focus in, in, in the previous years. The jury, they are focused on seeing what is the theme of, uh, of, of, of each year. And for these young artists, there are no limits, no matter the challenges they are dealing with. The big picture is talent, the ability to express it, and the perks that come along with it for a job well done. She was born in 1996. So she attended secondary school. She was born like this. By God's grace, she was born like this. So uh, we thank God for this. Because anything from God is a blessing. So uh, her main problem from her assistant she wants from government is to assist her was to build a studio for her. So she can train people as as the what she's interested in.
I think it's the best because it encourages us young artists to be able to to be able to do more as artists. I like it because now that I've received these gifts, I feel more encouraged to continue doing more of it. This is this is just showing the roadmap to national development, which is step by step we will get there. We are going to um, start by the childhood when the boy knows nothing about. Uh, about the world, you have to guide the boy. And after you have gu guided the boy, the boy will grow to start learning, learning certain things like education and arts, other things. When he go over there, he will then start working as a man, earning financial income to the country. So after there, he will then make the world know that Nigeria is a better country. Since we included the primary school uh, category and the secondary school, apart from in, 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 uh, putting the theme to address issues of country, we use it to, to encourage young uh, artists, who, promising artists, pick talents among them and see that they develop to become uh, artists, professional artists with time. And through this, we have encouraged a lot of them that have got, taken it as art as a profession. And you know, when, you, when, when we are talking of economic diversification, of course, art is one area that government should pick interest in. Because if you train an artist, in most cases, he hardly wait for government job. All that he needs is the enabling environment for him to operate through his studio and whatever. And through that, they create a lot of employment. Many wonders have come out of the National Visual Art Competition, which is aimed at discovering and consolidating an artistic genius while enhancing their skills and creative abilities. It is also a clarion call for people to look at art differently, not just for its aesthetics, but look at its potential to make money for the country. Newton Adwaga was born in Ogidi, in Anambra State, eastern Nigeria, in 1966. He moved to Lagos in 1970 after the Biafran War and then to England in 1985. Following a diploma in video art and post-production, he studied film history, art and technique at the London International Film School, graduating in 1980. He wrote and published short stories while working as a sound mixer on a wide range of productions. In 1997, he set up Granite Film Work to produce personal, cutting-edge and uncompromising films. As a director, his short films include Carnival Silent, 1994, Voices Behind the Wall, 1990, and On the Edge, 1997, which won him three prestigious awards and numerous special mentions. His debut feature, Rage, was released in the year 2000 to huge critical acclaim, becoming the first independent film by a black filmmaker to gain a national release in Britain. He was also very successful in international film festivals, winning many prizes, including Best Director in the Pan-African Film Festival in Los Angeles. Since then, he has directed commercials and a further short film, Funeral, in 2002, commissioned for the Keynes Film Festival alongside similarly themed works for internationally renowned directors such as Walter Salas, Arturo Ripstein and Amos Gitai. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. A trip around the world of the arts and back. I hope you enjoyed taking this ride with us. And if you did, join us again next week for another interesting episode. Or we could meet online. You know, I'm always anxious to hear from you. I'm Melinda Kilami. Have a lovely day. Mm -hmm.